Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for September 17th, 18th, 19th. That's going to be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, of course, I am using my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards for the main message. I'm going to pull just one from my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. I'll finish up with my Emily Anderson Crystal Deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job, whatever comes through, just deliver the message. Now, I have posted your sign from uh, September 22nd to October 23rd, which will be Libra season. So those are the long readings. Those are the chapters. Please take a look because Libra season has a lot of very strange energy. But of course, we've been having a lot of strange energy all along. So what makes Libra um, that much difference? different? Well, Libra tries to bring balance and justice. So take a look at that. Now, also, um, any cards that are reversed, just remember... They have stronger energies. Um, I will mention higher power. That is whoever that is to you. Higher power to me um, could be your um, spirit guides. It could be your guardian angels, your the source, whoever that is to you. You just go with that. Okay? Okay. So uh, one last thing. On the 20th, we do have our full moon. So right now, the 17th, 18th, and 19th, is a good time to ramp up with full moon energy. This is a time, remember, new moon to full moon as it's getting bigger. The moon is, you know, getting bigger so that we see it. We see it bigger. That's when we request. Full moon to new moon, as we see it get smaller, that's when we let go, release. But the full moon, and again, three days before, three days after, I'm more or less like, I like it more the 19th, 20th, and 21st. That is when we release what's holding us back, relinquish what we don't need anymore, and request what, you know, the good stuff, what we would like in our lives. Release, relinquish, request. So, I think I've got it all here. Oh, one more thing. Please like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. You are what keeps me going, so please, thank you very much. I appreciate you all so much, and thank you for your comments. You know that I do answer my comments in the morning, so thank you so much. Okay. Why don't we start our readings? Hello, my Cancers. How are you? Well, let us see what's going on for the weekend, okay? Let's see the energies going on. And we have that big, beautiful full moon in Pisces. Remember, release, relinquish, request. Now, that's going to be more, that's on the 20th, though, the evening of the 20th. Um, okay, Eastern time, at least. So, one, two, and three. Three cards. The first one's reversed. Let's see what we have from my Pisces. First card is Four of Earth. I feel like your money situation stabilizing. There's been a little bit of worry. There's been a little bit of fear. There's been a little bit of too much of having to pay here to pay and take from here to pay there. But I do feel that there is some stabilization of your money coming. Earth energy is our Virgo, it is also our Capricorn, it is also our Taurus, which has to do with your home, your money, your job, your career, a lot of the things that, you know, a lot of those necessities, those basic, um, those basic needs that we feel, you know, that helps to make us feel secure. So I feel like there is a security coming. I do feel like the, that the money situation is going to be stabilizing. Four has a stabilization, it has um, leadership, it has also organization energy. So something's happening, something's changing. I think that you're going to have a better relationship with money. All right, here we go. Being too frivolous or too cautious with money, good business decisions, giving to those less fortunate. Next card, here we are, balance. Like, okay, so balance. Balance has a lot of Libra energy. We have a lot of Libra energy going on right now. This is also Archangel Zedkiel. We've already talked about fours. Ones have new beginnings. Tens, you know, ten plus four. Tens are transitional energy. So right now we have a four, one, four energy. And this is, again, I feel like the money energy. I feel like this and this, this has that money out energy. I also feel like you are coming into a better balance in your life. 
This could be a work job balance, or this just could be that things, the stressors are leaving you now. Even though full moon stress can be there, the full moon does affect you, my, my cancers. It does affect the, ba the, you know, the moon child, the moon baby, which you are. But this, I do feel that there is a new sense, just a sense of <sighs> a release. There's a lot of release going on right now and a lot of relinquishing going on now for you this weekend. Now, the other thing then is when Monday comes, start doing your requesting. Okay, the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. So we have that 414 energy there. And now we have a three, three of earth. Again, earth energy. Three has creativity, power of three. So if you say something three times, do something three times, it's the trinity. So it has a lot of strength, but it does have a lot of creativity here. So there's a new, I, I, this has a lot of creativity in how you uh, approach, how you deal with, how you're looking at your money situation. So I do feel, like, and I felt money for Pisces too, but I feel the same thing happening well, not the same thing, but similar money energy for cancer, too, for this weekend. So be aware. You know, just, just watch for the money opportunities this weekend. Watch for ways to create. Now, it could also be that you're offered a new job, that you're starting a new job. It, it could be that you are offered a second job or that you are working, you know, whatever you've been working on now gives you a promotion. But I feel like there is this new energy regarding your money, and it feels positive. It feels very positive to me. So the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, be a team player. So yeah, this is, so we have a four, one, four, and a three. So all of those energies, but the four, one, four, the four, one, four definitely has some big stuff. Now let's see what we have with these, this. But again, it's a new relationship, new creativity. There's also strength with this, um, with the money energy here too. Okay. Let's see here. Two. All right. So two. Twos have crossroads joining together. This, ha this is about spiritual union. This would be the two of cups, the two of water energy. So water energy would be yours, Scorpio, and it also would be Pisces energy too. But you know this this is coming into coming into your place. It could also be that you know it could also be a one of those new relationships. It's just feeling so much better. I get this feeling of once that security. You know I don't know if anybody knows what is it Maslow's pyramid of the hierarchy of needs. And once those bottom layers are now met, that sense of security is now met, you can now, you know, you can now spend time, you know, searching for, or not searching, just feeling in a better place. In a, you know, you can now work towards that higher energy, that higher power. So it's kind of feeling like that things are balancing out on that material plane, and now you can work towards that metaphysical plane. So there's like the physical plane, and the metaphysical plane. There's the um, natural plane and the supernatural plane. And now that things are calming down and coming together on that, you know, on that security plane, you can now move towards um, that spiritual side. But this also is couples. This is also bringing together. You may be meeting somebody this weekend. You may already have met somebody this weekend. And things just start to blossom things are starting to grow. So there's a lot of growth. It could be that it's yourself and your higher power. It could be though, this could be very much on a natural plane. However, it's more, it's also, you know, when you meet somebody, it's like, haven't we met before? I just know you. And so it could be something to do with past lives. It could be something to do with, you know, those soulmates, those twin flames. It could be something like that too. So, but it, it also, it's kind of like once your physical needs are being met, you don't have to worry so much and you don't have to put so much energy towards that. And now you can put the energies towards possibly, you know, I don't go down that road, 
possibly looking for somebody or possibly opening yourself up to that um, spiritual union. Wow. Wow. Re you know, it, it, it's a good energy. It's a good energy. And especially, like I said, the releasing and relinquishing and then the requesting. This weekend, here we go. For my cancers, what, what energy crystal would be helpful for you this weekend? Here we are. Pyrite. Reversed. Good change of fortune. This is what we're talking about here. Success. Renewed focus. Leadership. Oh, I like it. Good change of, of fortune. I like that one. I might have to use that for you. Okay. Anyway, my cancers. Please take a look at the long readings. Cancer, September 22nd to October 23rd. That's also known as Cancer and Libra season. Also, too, remember to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. You help keep my channel going. Most importantly, the most important thing, this is the most important message, my Cancers. No matter what the world throws at us, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.